Well, you're in your little room And you're working on something good But if it's really good You're gonna need a bigger room Well, hello. It's a very, very, very uh, lazy um, Dexter and me back with yet another fun-packed and uh, feature-filled video to spoil your weekend. Um, no camera or photography talk today, um, but I'm going to talk you through my new um, computer setup. Um, some of my regular viewers will have noticed that I now have uh, a two-screen setup, um, and I'll kind of explain why uh, I've gone that way. And also about my new um, storage that I use um, to um, optimize my computers really. Now I really love these kind of geeky videos about other people's office and desk setups um, but I understand that it's not for everybody so uh, I won't be offended if you switch off now uh, it's entirely up to you um, but if you do stick around you might find something interesting I don't know but um, but we'll see Right, well, as most of you know, my main computer is this late 2012 27-inch uh, iMac. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, and it's been a really faithful old computer. Um, but recently, I've been getting a lot of problems with it slowing down, and uh, the dreaded Apple spinning beach ball. So I thought to try and alleviate that I take all the media files off the computer that's all my um, photos or my video files all my music stuff on iTunes I take it off the computer and put it on to one of three Samsung T5 external SSD drives now these are lightning fast so I've got a 250 gig one with all my current year's uh, photos on it, uh, a 500 gig one with all the current year's video um, on it, and another 250 gig one with all my iTunes media on it. Uh, now I've also got uh, connected via uh, a four port USB hub, a um, Western Digital hard drive, external hard drive, and that's got all my archived um, media on it, so all um, photo and video files from last year, and then going back in some cases to 2006, I think. Now, I found that after transferring all those files off this computer, it now runs pretty well like new. It's it's quite quick. Um, all that's left on the iMac is the operating system and its applications. Um, everything else is on external drives. So yeah, it does run an awful lot quicker, I found. The other major change is the addition of this Samsung 28-inch 4K monitor. Um, two reasons for getting this. Um, firstly, I decided to start shooting all my video in 4K, uh, for better or for worse. Um, but this old iMac couldn't really handle uh, editing 4K uh, footage. But my MacBook Pro, uh, which isn't on the desk at the moment, um, is far more suitable for editing 4K footage. But it's only a 13 inch and the screen isn't very big so I was struggling with screen real estate. So I decided to buy this um, monitor and hook it up to my MacBook Pro uh, purely for video editing. And to be honest it has absolutely revolutionized the way I edit my videos. It's so much so much easier, it's uh, faster, um, uh, editing them is much much uh, easier and quicker. Uh, but the second reason behind getting this um, second monitor is because I've slightly changed my photo editing workflow. Um, I was purely using Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop and I was getting some issues with editing Fuji RAW files. Um, getting sort of strange artifacts um, 
in the, in some of the images. So I switched to um, doing some of my editing on the new Capture One Express for Fuji, the, the free software that's out. So what I do now is I um, upload all my photos from my camera um, onto the Samsung T5s via Apple's uh, Finder. So I, I kind of manually uh, copy them across. Um, sort them then into um, into year, um, what make a camera, and then into month and date order within that. And then import the images into Lightroom. Then I carry out most of my editing, to be honest, in Adobe Lightroom still. Things like um, uh, colour correction and uh, adding gradients, dealing with um, highlights and shadows. I do most of that in Adobe Lightroom because so I like their sort of local uh, brush adjustments that you can use which the Capture One Express for Fuji doesn't have and then for things such as sharpening and noise reduction I open the image in Capture One which is on this screen <laughs> and once the image is um, to my liking, I then export it to uh, Adobe Photoshop for some final retouching, such as uh, spot removal, that sort of thing, uh, before saving it uh, back to disk as a finished image. Um, I find that workflow quite efficient. It works well for me. I set Capture One up as um, an additional external editor for Adobe Lightroom. Um, so I can open the image uh, in Capture One straight from Lightroom um, and that basically is the reason for the two screens for my photo editing um, I've got Lightroom on one and Capture One on the other the Samsung screen has two HDMI inputs so I got one from my iMac and one from my uh, one that goes to my um, MacBook Pro and it's easy to switch between the two. So that's my updated setup. Ah, there you are. That's my updated setup. Um, I hope you found this uh, useful and from Dexter to me, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again very very soon. Bye bye. Thank you.